What's up guys, welcome back. One of the issues with Games Workshop washes is that although the colours are really good, some of them are a bit weak and don't cover as well as you might want them to. There can be times when you have to apply two or three coats to get the effect you're going for. However, you can use a simple trick to not only improve the coverage but also get a much richer and more intense colour. Let's say that you're painting teeth and you want to use some serif and sepia to paint your shadows. Instead of just applying the wash as is, first we're going to take a very small amount of scale color chestnut ink and mix it directly into the wash. Now when we apply that to the model it's going to have all the same properties of a wash but with the color intensity of an ink. We also have the added benefit that it will dry with a slight wet look which is perfect for doing teeth because you get that subtle glistening around the gums and the base of each tooth. It works really well. Here's how it looks once I've painted the rest of the face now. <laughs> or at least most of the f***ing owl. You don't have to relegate this to just painting teeth, that's just an example. It's going to work with any pre-made washes. What you want to do is simply mix a little bit of ink that matches the basic colour of the wash that you're using. So for a red wash you'd mix in some red ink, for a purple wash you'd mix in some purple ink, and so on. Power levels 8,000, huh? Now it's over 9! Because of the slight wet look that this gives, it would work really well for things like rotting flesh or boils on a Nurgle model, or even mud on a base. I'm sure you'd be able to come up with many different situations where you'd be able to apply this idea. I hope you have fun trying it out, it really does work wonders. Once again, a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel via Patreon. It's really a big help in keeping these videos going. And thank you also to everyone who's left a comment or hit the like button. Without you, no one would ever get to see these tutorials in the first place. Let me know what you think of these shorter videos. I'm trying to do at least one long format tutorial each month, so these more compact videos let me keep to a more regular uploading schedule without leaving the channel sitting dormant for ages. Anyway, I think that's all for me, so I better head off. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.